Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark here with another video. This looks really familiar. Mark here with another video. That's why. Same shirt, much better. And today I come to you with more backpacks. Today I have backpacks from a company called Mixie. And they said, Mark, we have some backpacks. We would like you to showcase them and test them out. So today we're gonna take a look at those. There's three backpacks I'm gonna be going over two of which are the same, different colors, one being a little bit different. So why don't we just jump in? Backpack one is more of the hiking origin type backpack. Option two comes in two different colors, many more online, but this is what I got to check out right now. So I don't know very much about these backpacks, but that's why I'm making the video. Okay, we'll start taking a look with one of these guys. Okay, so first thing I noticed about these backpacks is that they are extremely light. They're basically just canvas on canvas on canvas. Are they structurally strong? No, they're not gonna be the most ergonomic option for you. However, there's many benefits as well. Okay, let's start taking a look at some of the features. Okay, noticing here the front pocket. Okay, that's a, that's a good quality zipper. You guys see that? It's not a, a flimsy ordeal here. This is a solid zipper. How about the big pocket? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, front pocket. We got some edibles. Front pocket, you'll notice we got spaces for pens, a little pouch, a key lanyard here, easy access for your keys. Mom, I'm home. And a pretty standard front pocket. Now going into the center pocket, the main compartment if you will, you got room here for your laptop. Is that big enough for my computer? Okay, let's see if this MacBook 15 inch will go into here. I think it might be a little bit big, but... Oh no. It fits like a... What's the expression? Glove. Look at that. Fully in there. Perfect. Okay. Take this back out. I don't need you no more. Oh, I just noticed there's a little front pocket in the main compartment. Pocket in pocket. Pocketception. In this pocket is nothing. So I guess this is a little bit more secret of a pocket. Maybe you can put your phone. Oh! Just noticed a top compartment here. So maybe this could actually be for your phone. Why not? In terms of the canvas, it's a double layer canvas, so that means that there's the front layer and a protective, protective layer on the inside, just so it's not raw exposed. I mean, it's a very standard backpack. It's super light. It's perfect for going to and from class, maybe even the gym, or even if you have a small little excursion to do maybe grocery stores, make sure you can fit a whole bunch. That brings me to test numero uno, size, of compartment. Okay, let's just see how many textbooks I can shove in here. Okay, so right here I have four textbooks, one MacBook. Let's try it. Starting off with the MacBook and nice fits like a glove. All right, should we start with the biggest to smallest? Yeah, I think so. Okay, one, two, three, four. What the? I'm pretty sure I can probably fit one more. Let me go grab another one. Principles of marketing. What a classic. <laughs> okay, this is pushing it to the limits. Here we go. Oh. And we're in. The ultimate test, however. I may or may not have put too many in there. That's not a classic. We gotta get rid of that one. Oh, like a glove. One book, too many. The principle of marketing. Push it over this limit. Environmental engineering. You know, who cares about the environment? It's not even that important. I don't need to bring that to class. So that was backpack numero uno. Backpack numero dos is the exact same in terms of pocket, canvas material, size, shape. The only difference is this is a navy. It looks fantastic. These backpacks really remind me of the backpacks we were using back in the day. I guess the style's coming back. I don't wanna say a brand, but you know what backpack I'm talking about. Okay, now this one is something I'm pretty excited about. 
They, this falls under the hiking day pack ordeal. A little bit more adventurous, a little bit more cushioning on the back, a chest strap. So if you pay attention, some really nice foam here with some centerfold ventilation. Good build, straps in solid. Okay, so there's two compartments. Let's open up the front one, edibles. This one's pretty generic. It's just a straight pouch. This could be used, I don't know, maybe for a pair of shoes going to the gym, a lunch bag or something like that to class. So the secondary pouch, very similar to the main compartment of the other backpack where you have a big area, a laptop sleeve, secret pocket in the front for all your secrets. We all have secrets. Some stored in backpacks. So because this one is, I believe, a little bit heavier duty, they actually added additional padding underneath this strap to give it a little bit more rigidity. I like that, I like that. One more pocket I just noticed is that on it, the, the right hand side of the backpack when you're wearing it, there's a side compartment here. So instead of the top compartment on the other two backpacks, this little cell phone pouch will be on the side. You can probably access that from the side. Yeah. I guess you could if you wanted to. Now let's put this to the test in terms of packing stuff into it. Let's see if we can do a direct transfer. I said direct transfer and here I am moving stuff twice. Laptop. Oh, that was a great fit. Not sure if you saw how easy that was. Going on with two textbooks strong. One, two. And in reality, who brings four textbooks to school anyways, you know? Three and four. No problem at all. I mentioned how the zippers were pretty nice, didn't I? Let's zip this up and see if we can pick it up with the zippers. You're probably saying, Mark, that makes no sense. Why would you pick something up with a zipper? The point is that the zippers are strong on these backpacks, or at least so they claim. This is test number one on zipper strength. And all the zippers, the other two backpacks are identical. The test in three, I probably can't even lift this with one hand. Three, two, one. Oh, baby. Yep. Oh, that's heavy. Just to prove that it's real. If you ever held four textbooks, a laptop, in one hand, you have my respect. Okay, so to summarize, here were three backpacks by Mixi. All of them tested great. They all very aesthetically pleasing. Damn it. They're all aesthetically pleasing. They're all functional and extremely lightweight. And they're not that expensive. All the links will be down below as usual. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this week's video. There's gonna be a link in the description to all of Mixi's products. Also, thank you very much, Mixi, for sending out these backpacks for me to test out. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be a giveaway. Why do you think I have three backpacks? All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And as always, additional brownie points will be found on all of my social media, social media sites, links, of course, you know where they are. Launching duet. What? What? And it's touch screen? Oh, that is awesome. Holy moly. And there's literally no light.